and get into this bonus read. Um, normally, I start these with something that actually happened in real life. And really, I, this morning, it was just kind of, there wasn't anything that was super amazing. It was just life. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that right now. If I have something to share, I usually do. But this morning, it was just kind of our our usual routine, routine my dog and I. So <clears throat> we always take an early morning hike. Back to basics, simplify, reduce, and center. That's a really great way to say it. Um, it was it was just perfect. It was just nice. Um, I didn't have anything spectacular that that popped out at me, but it was just very um, it was just, you know, we both have this nice routine of what we want want to do. Re-energize your life, clear, positive space, and harmony. Interesting. This, you know, this is such a great, even though I didn't have much to share on this one today. This is such a great way. That's exactly my my vibe today. It's just like it was very simple. It was very nice. It was very um, like our routine is perfect. It just flows. It makes sense. Move your body. Dance, breathe, and flow. And enjoy music, instruments, sound, and tone. So my vibe on this is that somebody's having a just a killer Sunday, just a relaxing, like maybe you're going out to like a local farmer's market or you're having just like pancakes and, you know, still in your jammies late in the afternoon. You're just turning on some easy listening music and just having a good time, like really enjoying whatever, sitting on your back deck or cozying up, you know, in front of the fireplace or whatever you do. There's something here though, about like listening to music. Maybe you've got plans to, um, to go listen to music at a friend's house or go to a live concert or whatever it may be. There's something very like, I want to get into really good vibes. And that starts with me taking all the other noise out. I love it. I love it because that is very much, um, kind of the vibe I was getting off of my Sunday today. It was just super relaxed. So with that in mind, I want to go with a deck that's more, um, more chill, more relaxed, more, um, soothing energy. So we'll go with one of these watery decks. <coughs> Excuse me. So somebody might be sitting around listening to music, slow dancing with their partner. They might be, um, this might be a couple that's actually really taking today and saying, you know what, let's not go hang out with everybody else. Let's just do our own thing today. We have hanged man in the reverse. We have five of swords in the reverse. We have queen of cups in the reverse. Um, this is starting to look like we're sure that we don't want to have any more conflict. We really don't. Um, we might also be aware that we have been, someone's been clinging to something but we have this one person anyway, has a desire to simplify life. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I really want this to be a calm and peaceful day. Tell me, why do we have the queen of cups in the reverse though? Because that's, um, it's either like somebody who's clinging. Oh, nine of wands. <laughs> there is a, there is one person who really wants this to, to work out. Let's get this back on track. So, one individual is like really relaxing their energy, like just kicking back. They're very confident that I don't want conflict between us. You know, I just, I just want to like be at home with you and sit in each other's energy. And the other person is responding with, yeah, like I, I actually really want this to work out also. Now they're approaching it from a slightly different angle though. This is somebody who they have a bit of an agenda. The first person has zero agenda. Let's just let, let's let the leaf on a river. Let's just let the flow of good music, good food, relaxation. Let's go for a walk with no destination in particular. Let's just enjoy each other's company. Let's not have any conflict. This queen of cups in the reverse with the nine of wands is like, yes, I love that. Let's talk about the problems and get everything back on track is kind of how it's feeling. That's not the energy of the first person. The first person says, I don't want conflict. I want easy. We have the strength card. Oh, and then we have the eight of wands in the reverse. Um, this could actually be, oh, excuse me. And the four of swords in the reverse. Um, you know what? Actually, this queen of cups in the reverse might actually be saying the same thing. Like, yes, I want this healed up also. I think that they have a great hope that this will, 
This relationship will get worked out smoothly. I think that they're using a great deal of their inner strength to prevent themselves from having a big conversation today, wanting to just focus on the healing energy, wanting to, um, well, oh my gosh, this card like breaks my heart because we have we have this um, beautiful whale that's trapped in a, you know, like a fishing net and she's helping. She's got the strength to help free this whale. There is a situation here where whoever is the queen of cups could be masculine or feminine. They are responding and reacting to this person's desire for like peace and harmony. Let's just, let's just enjoy each other's company. Let's forget about all the problems we've had right now and just really be like, peaceful with one another. Cause I know that I absolutely don't want to fight with you. And she's, she's reacting with, I'm going to have the strength to, um, to let this energy surround us. I mean, in her mind, she may be really saying, you know, we still have a lot of things to work out, but you're right today. Let's not, let's not try to piece it all together. Let's both sit in this state of like, I want, I want to be relaxed. I think there's a lot of hope for two people to really get back on track with each other, but they're both taking a break right now from any, you know, conflict or the need to communicate about conflict. This is a day off from, I don't want to say the real world. We have Knight of Swords in the upright and we got three of wands. You know what? They might be falling in love all over again today. Um, interacting with each other in just a fun way. Um, getting, getting like some excitement built up because we start with relaxing. We start with stepping away from problems, enjoying each other's company, and then getting kind of thrilled because we're back on track. We're talking about a future together and making plans for some fun stuff that we want to do. All of a sudden things pick up pace. I think it's because we simplified things. We simplified all the intensity of a conversation. Heck, this could be two people who've been planning a wedding and it's like, it gets overwhelming at some point and you go, you know, it, remember what the wedding is. It's, it's us, you know, choosing to be together. But if being together, all we talk about is the wedding and it's also stressful, that can get to be too much. Let's stop thinking about that today. Let's just spend time together. And then all of a sudden the energy shifts and it's like, okay, now I'm ready to talk about the wedding again. I'm so excited about it all over again. This is just stepping back from whatever stresses there had been regrouping for about the things that are important, right? Back to basics, re-energizing. Let's re-energize ourselves and our relationship. Let's bring this back to good vibes remember why we we're choosing to do this at all. Why are we here? We're here to enjoy life. If I choose to be with a partner, it's because I love this person's energy. There isn't any other reason. We have a good time together. The magician, heck yeah. We have king of cups in the reverse and we have judgment. So it's interesting because as this queen of cups actually kind of holds back and just has a strength to say, I'm going to free myself of any worries. I'm going to trust that however this is going to go is how it's going to go. If we're not going to sit down and have serious conversations today, if instead we're just going to have a good time together and relax, I'm going to trust that, okay, that's going to feel good. I, I don't want to argue today either. And in doing that, it's funny because all of a sudden, I think that the if, if we're talking about a divine masculine, divine feminine, and I'm not talking genders here, I'm only talking energy, um, it's funny because as things relax and they get more excited and we're back on track, the divine masculine is the one stepping up to be like, you know, I'm so sorry that we were having all those problems. It's like all the stress comes off and then exactly the thing that the divine feminine maybe really wanted to hear from the masculine is exactly what they automatically just go ahead and say, because all the pressure is off. Everything has been relaxed. Now it's feeling really good. They're feeling like they have some power to direct things and make things go smoothly. They're feeling a lot better about everything. The stress has been lifted. And now it's like, hey, now I wanted to talk about the fact that we were, you know, kind of at each other a little bit and I was kind of holding back. And I'm sorry about that. You know, that's, I want this. This is like the reassurance that I think she needed all along that's coming in. It's interesting though, because it happens because we release the stress surrounding it. This could be, doesn't have to be with two people that are already interacting. This could be two people that haven't necessarily had a romance yet, 
that were just, um, this is like in the grand sense, it's divine masculine energy where when everything gets to be too stressful and then we choose to step back and relax everything, that gives a chance for this reset and that gives a chance for the other person to step up and really kind of like open up the dialogue and say the exact words that the other person really needed to hear. But it's like giving everybody space to um, so that the timing is right. So nothing's forced so that it just flows. It's interesting because this whole thing, and it, this could be about two masculines. It could be about two feminines, same sex couples could be anything. Right. But the big thing is let's go back to having a good time. Let's go back to having fun. Let's not make everything in life stressful because we're supposed to be um, each other's um, reprieve from stress in life, right? And I think that's what we are we're coming back to. <coughs> wow, three of pentacles in the reverse, king of swords, upright, nine of swords. Um, this masculine might actually be opening up about something that they'd been really stressed out and worried about too, that that they weren't ready to admit to like they, maybe they were worried that they were losing the feminine and they didn't want to deal with it at that point. They didn't know how to express, express that, explain that. Um, there is something here or, 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 sorry, this, this is just buzzing through my brain. This could be an outside influence that was hoping that these two would break up because they were hoping to get a shot with this this divine feminine. This could be, I mean, we've seen a king and a queen of cups, a perfectly matched pair that were at odds that are getting things back on track, relaxing. Now we have this air sign energy who's stressed out thinking is, am I not going to have a chance to cooperate with this person? I think we have a third party situation that was just an outside. I don't think it was third party. I think it was somebody on the outside who's was hoping that these two would not patch things up. Because they were, heck, this could be somebody that somebody works with and they're like, okay, I wonder if so-and-so are going to break up over the weekend. And then on Monday when they come into work, I can like swoop in and maybe, you know, make my move. And instead it's like, they're getting stressed out going, oh, I have this weird vibe that they're, they're going to patch it up and it's all going to be good together again. I kind of think somebody is disappointed. This could be an, an ex who was hoping somebody would break up and come back to them. This could be, a, like I say, a coworker or somebody who's wanted a chance to move in and, you know, make a move on this queen of cups if she was going to break up with her queen or with her king of cups. Interesting to see this. Tell me a little bit more about this, this king of swords. Who are they in this equation? I mean, they're, they're outside of this. Two of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So they are a previous flame, an old flame who may be a false twin flame, uh, but they want a new beginning. They, they have felt like they are in separation from this person that they really want to be with. And they've been hoping that you were not going to patch things up with your current relationship because they would like a, a do-over with you. So it's stressing them out to think of you patching things up with whomever you're with. Why did they have this separation from you then? I mean, maybe they were never with you with you, but they certainly feel like you were the one for them. Ooh. We have got, we have got the devil. So there was some kind of, maybe they were chained in a different situation at one point and they couldn't come toward you. Page of Pentacles. They kind of tried, but they only gave little teeny tiny offers because they were still stuck in something that was toxic, unhealthy. High Priestess is here in the upright. Maybe they didn't tell you how they felt or maybe they there was always an unspoken like connection there, but they're really, they never put, they never really put five on it. You know, they never really locked down. They, everything was always still ambiguity. Four of Wands in the reverse Ace of Cups in the reverse. They didn't make their feelings really known. They didn't really come at this and try to make this a relationship. So they know somehow that, I, can this, is this person seeing you or is this person imagining all of this? They're hoping that, that you're going to be single. What do they want from you? Let me, let me say it that way. What does this person want from you? We have the star in the reverse, the world in the reverse, the tower in the upright, and the seven of wands in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person, they want this king of swords who has got eyes on you, who didn't make a move on you when they could have or should have. They 
for whatever reason, they were still trapped in something else, trapped in bad behavior, trapped, trapped in their single attitude, whatever it was, they didn't come in and lock it down. They are hoping that you are going to decide that you missed a wonderful opportunity with them, that you don't want things to be over with them, with the star and the world in the reverse, that you are ending things with this other partnership. And they, I don't even know, are you in another partnership or do they imagine that you are? I'm not sure. But they they want something else in your life to come crashing down so that then there's no obstacle and that you will want them back. That's that's what it looks like on this one. My, 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 I did not see that coming. I thought this was just going to be this peaceful Sunday. You know, this is so relaxing. This is a couple who's getting back together. Tell me a little bit about the energy between the king and the queen of cups here. Tower in the reverse. These two are not breaking up. These two are, it's either that or they know that you want a particular kind of person. Wow, five of cups, six of wands in the reverse. So there have been problems. But hold on, hold on, hold on. We also have 10 of cups in the reverse. So for a while, this was messy. For a while, this, whatever went on between the, the king and the queen of cups, it was, it was pretty rocky. For a little bit, it was pretty rocky. But neither one wanted to walk away. There was lots of regrets on the kind of some bad behavior and the fact that we've been more or less um, like squandering all of our happiness. Even questioning, like, are we, do we make each other happy? Um and yet, and yet, it appears that these two are a queen of pentacles in the upright. These two are going to grow things. They're going to put in energy, and this is going to be really stable. Um, so the king and the queen are getting back to basics. They're relaxing. They're getting things organized. They're in the sun. They really are going into a huge amount of happiness together. Yes, they had some problems. Yes, there was some conflict, but this seems to be a relationship where you and another person are going to make it work. Um, not make it work. You actually wanted to be together. The two of you want to be together. The person on the outside, the one who was really hoping, and they already had a chance with you, though. It, it, it even seemed like there was romance with this person. And they've been hoping that things would break apart because they still wanted another chance for you with you, but it, that doesn't seem to be happening. So what's the final outcome here? What's the final outcome? What's going to happen with this King of Swords? Uh, Seven of Wands, man, they're, they're feeling a whole bunch of blockages. That's the, you know, we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse out of the other deck. And now we have it in the upright. Nine of Cups, they're going to keep kind of like dreaming of what will make them happy, maybe overindulge, maybe um, as they realize they're still going to be blocked from you, they're going to try to just go a direction that's going to make them happy. And then what's the outcome for you two? Because <laughs> a rekindle of some serious passion, something that looks really beautiful, really powerful. Um, both people wanting to be with each other, both people wanting to manifest something really powerful. So it, it just kind of looks like, um, you know, if somebody had a chance with you and then they know that you're with somebody else and they've been hoping, hoping, hoping that things didn't work out with that person, um, it, it doesn't matter what somebody else hopes, right? Because it's all about us making our own choices in life and to make good choices um, says, you know, get back to the basics. What's really important? Why, why do we choose the people that we choose? How do we get, how do we define whether or not the relationship is a problem or is it just the stress levels from everything in, outside of us, outside of the relationship that was a problem? And I feel like these, this King and Queen of Cups are able to get back to the fact that, you know what, we just need to relax and once we're relaxed, then we can focus on each other again. And it turns out you're exactly who I want to be with and vice versa. I don't think that there was ever any like cheat stuff in this. It's that was an X. The, the King of Swords in this was an X that was hoping that something would would break apart so that they could sw swoop in. So I don't know if this person is like someone who is you know, whatever, a, a friend who kind of knows that there's problems and they used to date you, but they haven't. And they're like, oh man, if you guys are not going to make it, man, I'm going to take another chance with you. But I think that they're at least being respectful as it appears that, no, you're going to be with the person that you want to be with. 
Um, and this person, the, the King of Swords is not going to have some miserable outcome for that either, right? They're going after their happiness. It's kind of a nice reading where um, it feels like everybody chooses, chooses the path that, you know, when you get calm and peaceful and you really ask yourself, who is the person who makes me smile? This is my person. It, this feels really like united and like good decisions are being made on all and all parties sides. You know, there's not like, well, I'm mad at you. So I'll flirt with this person, vice versa. It's, this feels very much like let's, let's get stuff on track. So we have clarity. It's, it's nice. Anyway, that's what I've got on this one. You guys, um, it will not be for everyone, obviously, but take good care of yourselves. Thank you for popping by. Um, as always, these are just stories. So I hope you enjoy my creative art. I write, but I just don't use a pen in this format. So it's always fictional, but I hope you guys always um, walk away with something that's like, huh, that was an interesting story to hear. All right. Take good care. Bye-bye.